Hey, children of Israel, Zion, my brothers and sisters in the faith, uh, all of uh, those who do the will of my father, those are my brothers, those are my sisters. Hallelujah. Well, listen, uh, this video is not going to take up too much time. Uh, on uh, 7 29, 2015 at 9 20 p.m. at night, uh, the father gave me this word for his people. And so uh, you're probably saying, well, why are you just now giving it to us now? It's just 2016. Well, listen, you have to realize that Lucifer sends um, delays. In other words, you know, he'll, he'll send things to hinder you. Okay. He'll send things to hinder you. He'll send people to hinder you. He'll get your children acting crazy and doing all kinds of crazy stuff. He'll attack your finances. I mean, he will do anything that he can that will, he, he can do anything that the father allows him to do. So, um, you know, basically when the father is allowing him to do something, you know, I mean, it's, it's, it's his will. The other thing is, is that, um, sometimes the father allows things because, um, it's just not, the timing is just not right. Even though he gave this to me last year in 2015, the timing just might not have been right for me to release it. But the timing is right for me to release it now. Okay. Um, I am only trying to encourage those who love the Father, those who love their brothers and sisters in the faith. I'm not talking about pe this message is not really for people who, um, you know, are mockeries. They mock God. They mock the word. They mock his people or whatever. You know, I've seen that you're going to do what you want to do anyway. And, you know, maybe if by chance you do turn away or whatever, then, you know, that's good too as well. But these are, this, this message is for the father's people. And this is a word of encouragement to you, for you not to fear, for you not to fall for anything. I used to always wonder, you know, like how these people be having these cooking shows, you know, they go through all these different countries and they're eating all these strange foods. I mean, filthy, filthy, filthy foods. And they actually, you know, say that they're gourmet them and sauteing them and all this kind of stuff. And they're eating these things. But the uh, scriptures tell us that we are not supposed to eat unclean, undefiled things. And uh, this right here is some of the things that the father has uh, told me to tell you. And you can verify this in Leviticus, the 11th chapter. Uh, okay. One thing is... Um, there's a, a, a lot of witchcraft. There's a lot of witchcraft going on here in the state of California. Okay. Lots. I mean, there are people who have sold out their children for little or nothing. Some people have sold their children out for something, but I mean, you know, I can't understand why people would sell out their children like that. But anyways, uh, we won't even go into that again because we'll be on that subject from here until Christ, the event comes back. Okay. Um, a bat represents witchcraft. Now, people in that day, and I'm not saying that this is going to happen right away. No, it's not going to happen right away because the the, the Bible says in Habakkuk uh, that, you know, we have to tarry, you know, and we have to wait for the vision. OK, we have to wait for it to manifest. So one thing about walking with the father, you do have to have patience. And that's pretty much it or you're going to be off of his timing and you're going to be in Kronos' timing and Kronos' timing is definitely going to try to get you hurt. Okay. So people who might see bats in those days, I want you to remember that a bat represents witchcraft. A bat is a creature of the night, flighty, unstable, fear as in she's deathly afraid of bats. But we're not supposed to eat bats. Leviticus, excuse me, Leviticus 11 and 13. It says, these are the birds you must never eat because they are detestable to you. So when those days come around, uh, you know, you, you, you're going to see people getting birds. They're going to shoot birds. They're going to go cook them and everything. And it may even smell good to you. But if you are truly a child of God, you're not supposed to eat these birds. And here's a list of them right here. The eagle, the vulture, the osprey, that's O-S-P-R-E-Y, the buzzard, kites of all kinds. And you can go look up online what these look like so you'll know what they look like. Ravens of all kinds. 
remember there was a raven that bought uh, Elijah, actually had bought him some food. The ostrich, the nighthawk. I know for a fact people eat this. They eat ostriches. The nighthawk, uh, the seagulls, hawks of all kinds. Now, I think hawks, you're not supposed to be able to um, touch them. They're protected by law. But in that day, honey, they're not going to be protected by any law because people are going to want to eat them because they're going to be so hungry, you know. And then it says the owl, the cormit, which is the, you know, um, a cormit, I think, is like the pelican, I think. Um, it's uh, And then it says the great owl, the white owl, the pelican, the corin vulture, <laughs> the stork. Herons, it's H-E-R-O-N-S of all kinds. The Hooper, H-O-O-P-O-E, the Hoopy, Hoopy. And of course, the Bat. And basically, that's all the Father tells me to tell you. He just says, tell my people in these times of trouble, do not eat these abominations. Trust me, and I will provide their provisions. Only trust and obey. There is no other way. There you go. So anyways, I won't Take away anything from what he has told me, and I will not add anything. So remember, continue to trust and believe and have faith in our Father, and continue to pray. Let's continue to pray for one another and love each other in prayer, in song, in praise. And what I mean by that is if you're praising the Father, when I praise for the Father, I'm just praising him for all of Israel. I'm praising him for all his people. I'm singing to him for all his people. You know, it's not just about me praising him. So anyways, I love you so much. I'm fixing to sign off and you take care of yourselves. And once again, I will talk to you later from the next appointed time from the state of California. Talk to you later.